Hey guys, today I am going to talk about Unlisted Leaf and something he recently posted. The abuse, hate, death threats, and endless threads across social media about how I'm the most evil person in the world have truly ended me. Read every thread and every DM. You win guys, I'll leave YouTube. Always was positive and had a smile for 8 years of making videos, but today I didn't even want to didn't want to even wake up. I find this highly sus and it seems like he's fishing for more empathy, if you will. And I'm sure that any big YouTuber uh, or even any medium YouTuber, or any YouTuber, given the anonymous nature of comments and the fact that most people leaving comments don't really have YouTube videos of their own, gets exactly what he gets. I know I get abuse, I know I get hate, I know I get death threats, and and that is just part of being a YouTuber. Now, should that change? Yeah. But this doesn't help. The StockX thing doesn't help. Just to clarify, I didn't set the price or take a percentage of the break. Didn't have a say in how the packs were open either try to make it a little better with the prizes and increasing the cards graded, but not enough, I'm sorry. For everyone who hates me for buying my car too, you'd be pleased to know it, it broke and I no longer own it. The idea that you bought a McLaren and it broke and then you had to sell the McLaren still indicates that you're a multi-millionaire based on what we now know about Twitch salaries and other people on YouTube salaries. Yeah, Endo is a multi-millionaire. And to double dip into that, to join StockX, like, he would have you believe that StockX is not paying for his likeness, his cop. He's been in the game for eight years. He knows what a sponsorship is. He knows why StockX wants to use his likeness, his name to promote. Because StockX promoted themselves, how many could they really sell, right? How many would they be able to sell for free packs for $50 plus? Not many. They use Ando's name, they use Unlisted Leaf's name, boom. They sell out instantaneously. Loved every minute of making fun Pokemon videos, but being degraded every day as a human has really destroyed me. So what he's suggesting right now is that it wasn't just Pokemon Celebration. It was he was being degraded every single day for eight years, essentially. And I can believe that. It's YouTube. YouTube is a very mean place with anonymous people thinking that they you know you owe them something. You don't owe them shit. Uh, you know, I, I get why um, he might want to take a break, but he's definitely coming back because he made millions of dollars from YouTube. And a sponsorship with StockX. StockX is a big company. It's a big company. I know a lot of people say, oh, well, you know, what's the difference between StockX and eBay or TCG Player? You know, I see, I go on TCG Player or Facebook Marketplace. You know, I go on Facebook Marketplace and it's a bunch of, you know, scalpers, right? That's what I'm saying is when a price of a, a product, let's say the product is the Charizard. I think the Charizard then goes for what, $19.99? And somebody's trying to flip it for $40, $50. It doesn't really matter where they're trying to flip it. StockX, eBay, um, Macari. These are all places that benefit from flipping and scalping. And... It's one thing if you come out and you say, you know what, I'm a scalper and I'm trying to make some money. Please, like PokeRev, at least PokeRev does the honorable thing. And he he says, you know, I got to charge for my time. I got to charge for the package. I got to charge for the shipping. And my time is more valuable now. That I get because he's opening the packs. And a lot of people are saying, oh, well, he's in Australia. And COVID, so he doesn't need to take the sponsorship. Like everyone is under the assumption, like everyone who's supporting him and upset that you know I I caused him to leave, is under the assumption that he's got to be sponsored. 
He's got an open celebration. He does not. He can do what so many other YouTubers are doing. Go to the Walmart, get some product. I'm sure somebody will send him product early, open it on camera, and open his own product that he owns, that he paid for himself. Or maybe he was gifted the product and have a good time with it. But there's no need to promote StockX. So like the idea that you have to promote StockX does not make any sense to me. You could pick anyone to promote. You could promote your local game store. But he's not going to and he never has because it doesn't make any money. Local game store is like living paycheck to paycheck. They can't afford to promote Endo, right? And and I know a lot of people like, oh, well, he didn't know. He didn't. Well, he sent these signed cards from, and everyone's saying, oh, shipping is so hard. Shipping is so hard. But you do realize he has shipped at least one product, right? Which is a package of signed cards, Grass Energy. Because that's part of the StockX package. So StockX has a bunch of Endo signed cards. Endo is not in Los Angeles or the U.S. How do you think StockX got those cards? Oh, it's because he, Endo shipped them to him. So there was some type of relationship very early on. A lot of you make it seem like, oh, Endo got, you know, Unlisted Leaf got his, the wool pulled under his eyes. But that couldn't be the case. Because if at any point he could just say, you know what, I don't agree with this. You're not paying me. You know, there's no contracts in place. I'm just doing this because I like you guys. But no, I'm not going to do it. And they're like, no, do it, do it, do it. And he could just be like, well, I'm not sending the signed card. And that would end StockX. Because then they would realize, and even a, little, a small child would realize, wait a second, Endo's not actually endorsing this product. But instead, what did he do? He'd make a whole video about it. He promoted it and it sold out instantaneously. I don't get it. I mean, you would have to be silly to not believe that StockX paid them money. Every single sponsorship, I mean, we you know Steve will do it, Rubets, that's kind of blowing up right now. The sponsorships are like this. You, you take a sponsor because you want to make money, and that's okay. Everyone does it, you know. That's why Raid Shadow Legends, you see on like every big YouTubers, they, they took the money. They took the Raid Shadow Legend m money. Do they actually believe Raid Shadow Legends is a good game? No, they don't. None of them do. But they took the money, right? They're promoting it because they took the money. Now, it would be one thing for a channel to say, you know what, I'm against predatory gacha. And then promote Raid Shadow Legends in the same video. The idea that these people are not scalping. So what is the definition of scalping? Is you, you buy something at a Walmart or a Target, like the very base Definitions, you buy something at Walmart Target for one price, then you drastically increase the price to resell. And scalpers might, they may or may not like Pokemon. They might just be scalping Pokemon because there's money, or maybe they enjoy Pokemon. They just want to make a little side hustle money. But they would blush at the amount of money a StockX can make with the right person, which is Unlisted Leaf. They would blush at the, you know, 5x return at based on retail. That's assuming they're not getting a distributor price. They would blush. No scalper. I mean, go on, go on Facebook Marketplace right now. Go on eBay. See how much they're trying to sell the free pack. And again, these are scalpers, right? These are the evil scalpers. No one would dare ask $50 for free packs. That's insanity, but that's what Unlisted Leaf, StockX. So that, that's where I am with this is, you know, I, I don't think he really quit. There's too much money for him to quit, and maybe he doesn't realize that until, you know, the, you know, until the money runs out, but he's making way too much money. And making so much money, he's buying McLarens, uh, like, monthly. And definitely... It reminds me of what happened with Hasama Abin. And I mean, you, everyone thinks a lot of his subscribers don't need to donate. You don't need to donate to a guy making $10 million a year. You make minimal wage, guys. Or slightly above minimal wage.
for the large majority of young Americans who would be interested in Pokemon, they're not making that much money. Why donate money? And that's what you're doing. You're donating money to a multi-millionaire. And you talk about class, you know, classes and different... That's crazy. 